एवरी वन वेलकम टू द डी फाइव ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन डेज ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग बाई कोड वॉरियर्स नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मल्टीपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ आई थिंक दैट इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड ए कॉन्सेप्ट ए न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट यू नीड टू लर्न थ्री थिंग्स अबाउट इट वाई इट इज वाट इट इज एंड A and D, that is advantage and disadvantages. So we are going to do this. I mean, we are going to start by this, by first understanding why we need multiple linear regression. So to understand this, we need to understand. We need to try to remember the concept of simple linear regression, which was that we in the model tried to fit on single independent variable and single dependent variable. that means there are only one independent variable and one dependent variable but let's try to imagine a real case scenario you won't see any problem in which is a dependent variable only depends on a single independent variable like for example the price of a house doesn't only depends on the age of a house but also its location or also like on how many number of rooms and bedrooms and like that so I mean, literally every cases you need you have more than one factor that influence the output. So we need a we need to use a model that will fit on data which have multiple independent variables, and that's why we need to understand multiple linear regression. Now in the previous session or in the previous video, you see that what is linear regression and there are two types: simple and multiple, and we learned about simple linear regression in the previous video and now we are going to learn about multiple linear regression so our next step is what is multiple linear regression now multiple linear regression is a model that what it try to do is it's try to fit a single dependent variables with multiple independent variables now for example let's say in this image as you can see here there is a image below which having biking to work i mean the percentage of people that buy use bike to work or i mean cycle or those kind of exercise or like that and th on the y axis our dependent variable is the heart disease that is percentage of population and in this graph you can easily conclude that the people who used to exercise more to work or to use bike to the work or like and uh, they work out or something like that they tends to have less rate of heart disease compared to the other population but you can just predict dependent variable on basis of single independent variable there might be multiple cases for let's say in this example the rate of heart disease doesn't only depends on the biking to work or exercises it also depends on whether the person smokes or not and there are other many more factors and that's why we need to learn about multiple linear regression so that we can create models for those relevant cases right so as you can see in this example it shows that that three lines red green and blue and they shows the rate of smoking a person or people tends to have less rate of smoking then it tends to have less rate of heart disease compared to the person who smokes more right so that's why there are three lines as for sale the red line that the same value of biking to work which is 60% tends to have the value around like 2.5 but for the purple with have more smoking light like, let's say for the blue line or point data points on the blue line they tends to have more rate of heart disease for example like 8 to 10% i mean in this example as you can see clearly now the equation for our multiple linear regression is simple as simple linear regression just think of it like it's a collective or combined form of multiple simple linear regression now in order to understand that you need to think that multiple linear regression fit independent variable iteratively one after another with dependent variable and that's how it create a model and just think like if using understanding a simple linear regression the equation for a single independent variable will be mx plus c y is equal to mx plus c so for multiple independent variables just go one by one for each variable let's say for variable 1 it will be m1 x1 plus c1 for 2 m2 x2 plus c2 till let's say for a, a nth time it will be mn xn mn into xn plus cn right where m will be the coefficient for the variable and c will be the base value of the variable 
right simple to the similar to the slope equation but for multi, for creating a multiple linear regression what it does it it kind of combine them all so if you combine all these equation the value of y will be m1 x1 plus m2 x2 till m n x n and for the constant it will perform the same c1 plus c2 to, till c n but you know i mean uh, when you try to learn or when you try to understand about those graphs like i mean mathematical graphs and plots i mean every time you see a constant or multiple constant adding to each other we combinedly use it as a single constant so here we are going to replace addition of c1 plus c2 till cn we are going to combine them and going to replace it with a equation value c and that's what it did in the equation so that was the second step what is multiple linear regression so in the next step we are going to learn about uh, advantage and disadvantage of them advantage and disadvantage of multiple linear regression till now we didn't learn much about different algorithms of machine learning so we are going to understand advantage and disadvantage of just comparing them with the previous one for let's say comparing to the simple linear regression what will be the advantage of multiple linear regression is that the multiple linear regression is that it have an ability to fit the model on multiple independent variables towards a single dependent variable right and here independent variables are x and dependent variable is y now the next is the disadvantage so the only disadvantage that the multiple linear regression is not for the use for non-linear data now what do you mean by non-linear data now let's say for i mean in the, in the graphs when you try to draw a line or line, when you try to equate a line like that the line used to be a linear so data points will be linear over the line i mean will be the plotted over the line but for the equations like x square x cube they are not totally linear they are kind of curvy and the, those things or data points are referred as non-linear data because they tends to have non-linear relation with each other i mean between x and y all right so our multiple linear regression is a linear model so it will work better on linear data but it won't work good enough on non-linear data i mean for the non-linear data we won't be able to use multiple linear regression for it now it will fit the non-linear data even with the linear relation and that is not going to work well because all the outcomes are prediction that will give us a more erroneous output or it won't generate much great or accurate output for those data so that was the concept about multiple linear regression now using the scikit learn in order to create multiple linear regression model all you need to do is write these four lines of code in which first line we are going to import a class of linear regression model from sklearn.linear model and then we are going to create an object of linear regression and then all we need to do is first we need to perform training which can be done by using regressor.fit in which we need to pass our independent variables and our dependent variable and for the prediction we are going to use dot predict function with our regressor object by using regressor dot predict and in which we are going to pass the testing data it will generate the prediction which will be stored in y underscore pred now you may think that in in the previous video and in this video both the codes and lines are same so what is the difference between these two codes the only difference is that in the multiple integration there are multiple independent variables and that's it there is not much difference and these both are type of linear regression model so in order to create multiple linear regression model all you need to do is pass x trend and x test in form of 2d array in which all rows represent a record and column will represent multiple independent variables let's say if you have three independent variable then in the array of x trend and x test there will be three columns for each of them and fit will train or fit the model on basis of those data that's it for our today's session. In the next session, we are going to learn about how to overcome that problem that multiple linear regression had. That is to fit non-linear data. And for that, we are going to understand, we are going to learn about polynomial regression. That's it for our today's session. And in the description, you will find link to the LinkedIn post or you will find link to our blog and multiple resources from there from which you can learn more much more about multiple linear regression and you can understand it much better all right and you can even see the examples of multiple linear regression model in code form and you can understand it better that way so that's it for our today's session hope you like it enjoy keep learning